right, all right, all right. So today we are in October of 1983. Everything is normal. The draft class is normal. The rosters are normal. The only weird thing about this is that there is no salary cap. So that means that now Larry just so happens to be on a six year contract, but you know, Magic, three years. In three years, Magic Johnson could sign anywhere in the league for any money possible that he wants alongside any other players that also might be expiring within that time frame. Now I started at the beginning of the NBA and obviously this is like the least exciting portion of the NBA, but I'm just going to kind of speed run through this and see how insane it gets. So you're not going to have to wait too long before like Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen and Shaq can just start signing random places. So yeah, sure, let's see what happens. When I say speed run, I don't mean I'm not going to watch any games. If a team gets like Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, uh, Draymond Green and Klay Thompson on the same team, I might just watch it because obviously that can never happen in real life, but it'll probably be a few years because I'm not here for Adrian Dantley highlights. Magic Johnson wins MVP, Ralph Sampson, Kevin McHale, yada yada, bada bing. We already know the Celtics and the Lakers are going to be in the finals. Also, on top of there being no salary restrictions or whatever, there are no injuries. There are also off the jump, no trade restrictions. So you could trade any player making any type of money for any other player and you could trade them whenever right after you sign up. Doesn't matter. Yep. Lakers and Celtics in the finals and Magic Johnson and the Lakers winning. These two losers retired. Sorry. Oh, they added the clear path foul this long ago, back in 1984. NBA giraffe lottery for Michael Jordan. Obviously, what the hell? Did I do something? Uh, I don't think I did anything. I literally did nothing. What, what is going on? Why is there only two teams in the NBA draft lottery? <laughs> Look at how stupid the dra graphic looks. Look at how the bullets is right at the front. What is going on? I swear I've done this sim before and it has never been just two teams. Anyways, all right, I guess. You no, know like Earl Sweatshirt said, man, we roam tundras. We roll with the punches. Akeem Olajuwon goes number one to the, uh, the Bulls. John Stockton goes number two to the Bullets. And Michael Jordan will go number three to the 76ers. Yet again, falls to three. Charles Barkley to the Kansas City Kings. The rest, if you care, you care. Doesn't matter to me. So here's free agency. Now, this is the... No, wait, wait, wait. I was about to say this is like boring free agency, but the Lakers are about to sign the best player in here. So the team that's already the best is about to sign the best player too. Hell, they could just sign everybody if they wanted to. This should be interesting though, but not not really just yet jesus christ they went right through it i just want to see if they got that one dude sorry uh john was it john paxson jim or john or whatever he didn't sign with the lakers that's tough no nah, screw it. we don't care about the 80s anyways at least in 2k like in retrospect hearing about the history in real life it all intrigues me every era even the 70s when dave cowens was just winning and half of regular humans don't even know his name if not 90 percent, maybe 99 magic with another mvp michael rookie of the year averaging 30 jack sigma dpoy brad nelson coach of the year for the lakers there's the first team michael's already there the team's probably no, I didn't make none. Second year playoffs, I'm spamming because I really still don't care. The Lakers went over the Bucks. Magic Johnson, another ring. Magic's got to be like one of the top five 2K players pretty consistently that I see. Jared Antetokounmpo retired. All lottery picks done. L let's see if this fixes the lottery. Let's see. Okay, cool. It it's fixed this year because I swear I've done the 1984 one on multiple occasions and it's never... You know what? To be fair, I don't think I've done it th in this 2K. Maybe it was something that they fixed. Maybe it was something that they broke. I don't know. I I'm thinking of 2K23, you know? Anyways, the Spurs get them one overall pick. And when they bring Carl Malone, nope, they bring Patrick Doing. Carl Malone to the Bullets. Yep. I, did he just join John Stockton or am I tweaking? Yep, he did. Back again. All right. Free, wow. Free agency this year is even worse. So, yeah, screw it. We're just going to keep it trudging on. There's got to be a point in time where it's going to start to get crazy, but not yet. Moses Malone and Michael Jordan. I just realized it's an affiliation. I just realized that they have Dr. J. You know, a lot. I mean, some people probably know. A lot of people probably know, but a lot of people probably don't know that Michael always says that Dr. J was his bigger, biggest inspiration, or at least one of them. Today, I want to shout out to the concept of time. It's kind of crazy. I've been doing this. Also, matter of fact, cut myself off. Are any trades? happening ever uh yeah a lot of them but none of us really know any of these players yet i've seen rick mahorn and david thompson rick mahorn got traded twice actually shout out to the concept of time i've been i've been uploading to this channel since i was 13 if you look back at the oldest videos and now i'm about to be 22 in two weeks so yeah it's been a while most of the subscribers know me since i'm 18 though that's when the channel started doing well uh magic most valuable carl malone rookie of the year byron scott six man akeem olajuwon dpoi Derek harper most improved than brad nelson coach of the year still haven't seen a huge impact from you know i'm saying all this contract no no salary cap thing going on and the thing is too and i kind of wish i would honestly like to turn this off but that you know contract extensions um i i don't know if i could turn that off and i, I don't think i it would should be possible honestly but i would like to turn it off for, for this video but like for example if i go over here yeah like trailblazer re-signed clyde drexler he would have been restricted though unless that didn't exist in this era but i believe it would magic just re-signed yeah so like stuff like that that's not that's not ideal but let's see anyways though i might try and find a better workaround to that in like 2.7 seconds did kareem actually retire i don't 
see him. I don't know how that's such a consistent glitch. Draft lottery of the Knicks and Supersonic to the top. This one just for like Len Bias and I forgot who else. First pick, Brad. Oh yeah, there go Brad to the Knicks and Len Bias to the Supersonic. Is, wait, is that just Steve Francis? The bonus to the Suns, Dennis Rodman to the Mavericks. Out to Mark Price too. I just seen him. Free agency. Oh, okay. Wow. Michael Jordan, unrestricted free agent. Eight offers. He's obviously with the 76ers. Is he going to resign there? I don't know. He's getting offered more years and about the same money from other teams, but for some reason he wants to stay in Philly. I mean, that's good for him, I guess. Akeem, it's looking like he might leave Chicago. I mean, they're not even offering him. I'm not going to lie. I just went to the bathroom and I realized, wait, I'm over here talking about contract extensions, buddy. I could just turn it off. I forgot. I have control of the teams. I forgot about that. Anyways, screw it. Let's see what happens. All right. The best players all signed. Michael Jordan saves with the Sixers. Akeem Olajuwon signed with the Lakers. Now, I don't think Kareem retired. I think that was a glitch, right? Yup. So he is going to, well, get ready to take the place of Kareem. I mean, he's already going to be starting over him year one, I'd assume. Or actually, they might both be starting. But they have formed what him and Ralph Sampson had in Houston instead with an even better player. Although old, past his prime, so maybe not better. Who knows? In LA, this is our first example of the insanity that is going to ensue from all of this. Uh, the rest of these guys, Jeff Rulin to the Blazers. And uh, yeah, so Akeem was on the uh, the bowl. They signed anybody or they just screwed? Yeah, no, they're going back to rebuild bowl. I mean, they got a uh, dude. They got 36-year-old artist Gilmore. They got young Chris Mullen with the, with the nice hair. Nowadays in this league, it's looking like Jordan, Akeem, and Mark Aguirre, Clyde Drake are all 90 plus but look at how little amount of 90s there are uh it's like 15 maybe michael jordan mvp len bias rookie of the year i know i've said this and i made len bias videos before but genuinely speaking like he really is was an elite college player like he, that man was moving like like one of them really athletic power forwards at the very least he would have been like a sean camp like one of that you know what i'm saying i think he was even better when it comes to ball handling playmaking so what the hell they got a newspaper when they add an oh and you could really just go oh Oh, no, no, no. You, you, I'm switching through the teams right now. I thought I was switching through the newspaper articles. <laughs> Jordan crushes Bulls. This is, this is crazy. What? Hey, now they went in the bag. I can't lie because I always used to hate how there was no social media. Like nobody talked about this era. Like how there was no so. I said that like I was there. No, I'm talking about like when I do these simulations, I hate how there's no social media tab. What about if I go to a player now? Is there going to be a news tab instead of social media? Or is it still going to be social media doesn't exist? Yeah, no, it looks like the, the latter. The Lakers are going to win over the Celtics again. Nakeem Olajuwon finals mvp i honestly forgot for a second he was there but it was a little calm little 4-2 series and if i could see their stats real quick yeah so akeem was far and away the leader in uh rebounds and points and um yeah they brought kareem off the bench and he still averaged 14 and 7 and i would assume this would be his last year right he's pretty old unless he you know really doesn't care is there no like morale tab oh okay no he's not retiring he's 40 brock robinson's out here and dan issel i think dan issel was a four uh 12 and 0 my team reward one year i think it was october it was one of the only ones i never got and I was pissed. There was a Manu Ginobili that year, and I love that card. It was a pink diamond Manu Ginobili. I would hit the spin move with him all the time. He was a dog. David Robinson and Scotty Pippen on this draft, so it's a pretty big draft. The Bulls were up there with a Denver pick, and they fell down to five. Clippers and Hawks at the top. The draft, Clippers get Kevin Johnson, number one. Hawks get David Robinson, number two. And Reggie Miller goes number three to the Sonics. That's actually a good Reggie Miller. Trade to announce fourth overall pick for Reggie Miller. And then Scotty Pippen instead goes to the Supersonics. These, these creations are good fundamentally, but why are you making and their eyes look like this. What, what, what's going on there? Okay, bet. So no extensions this season. So James Worthy and Dominique Wilkins are both free agents now. Would James Worthy dare leave the Lakers? Also, I've seen even Patrick Ewing already. James Worthy is going to go join the Warriors. Dominique Wilkins joins Michael Jordan in Philly. Patrick Ewing to the Celtics. George Gervin to the Celtics. Robert Parrish stays with the Celtics. They all they all team up with Larry Bird. I mean, Parrish was obviously already there. But Patrick Ewing is a big time sign to keep him competitive with those Lakers, especially if the Lakers lost. What's his name? But now it's just magic. Oh my, they got Carl Malone. The Lakers got Carl Malone with the Keem with Magic. And now the Celtics, they got Larry, Patrick Ewing, Gervin, Mikhail, Parrish, Phil Dennis Johnson. Dennis Johnson should be a one by now, though. I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to fix that. And I know I usually don't do this, but he should be a one. I was actually, I was reading like this long winded post on Dennis Johnson recently. I forget where I saw it. It was about like how, like, how he's a very underrated player. And I already knew that because people, people be thinking he's just like a Celtics like wingman, but he didn't win finals MVP with the supersonic yeah there it is 1979 crazy enough i don't think larry bird has won a ring yet oh no he won an 81 okay 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 you know what else i saw recently that shocked me i saw that the spurs retired avery johnson's number 
like the Avery Johnson that ended up being a coach. I think it was him. And he only averaged like 12 with him, but he just played there for a long time. You know what's crazy? The, the Supersonics also did that with Nate McMillan. I think he was maybe even worse. He was like more of a good defender than an offensive player, I'm pretty sure. But there's some weird stuff that happened. I mean, obviously it, it did happen with like Nick Collison, I think. Did he get his jersey retired? I believe he did. I guess it makes sense because it's like a respect for the franchise. Because It's like, oh, if you have this much respect to stay with us for this long, we're going to reward you with that even if you weren't some sort of elite player because we respect your services with the team, basically. Because then that could influence players to also stay with that team for a long time if they're there for a certain amount of time. But it depends on what you value or not. It, it make more sense for a role player because star players will probably get retired anyways with their numbers. I still wonder if Kawhi's number is going to get retired with the Raptors to this day. I mean, I would assume so, but it's kind of crazy to think about just one season. You know, I think I'm a person that's actually been uh, with this argument for a while. On that topic, Andre Iguodala has always been brought up in like Hall of Fame talks and I've always been like, hell no, no way. Like it doesn't really make sense, even though I, I rock with Andre Iguodala, but like, come on, let's be for real. And I was listening to his podcast with JJ Redick and even he said he doesn't think he's a Hall of Famer, which I get that Sherry's being humble, but like, I think he was being for real. He was pretty, he was pretty real. He's pretty bluntly honest in most regards. Shout out to Evan Turner too. He does a great job of that. Magic Johnson, most valuable player. David Robinson, rookie of the year. Terry Porter, six man. Akeem, DPOI. Kelly Hall, coach of the year with the Celtics, 73 and nine. Lakers weren't even the number one seed in the West. They got beat up by the Blazers. So I remember it has signed a ruling, but they, oh, okay. Derek Harper. You know, it's crazy. I was about to say respected Derek Harper when I was talking about uh, Dennis Johnson, because he has that same type of archetype, like a defensive specialist. I'm pretty sure. Uh, am I am I tweeting? No, yeah, yeah, I'm right. He, he averaged 1.6 assists. Steals, I mean. Um, fly. They got Fat Lever off the bench. Jim Paxson. Oh, snap. They just stacked up all like the players that I was saying we don't care about all these years. And they're now the number one seed. And hell, the Lakers are third, actually. The Kings are over them, too. Larry Drew, Alex English, Kenny Walker, Charles Barkley, and Bill Cartwright with Buck Williams off the bench. Oh, well, it's more of a division thing. That's why the Lakers weren't two, I guess. But the Lakers and Kings in different divisions? Wow, I've never looked at... There was only four divisions. That's crazy. Let me nerd out for a second. So nowadays, the central division is just these first five? No. The Hawks are in that southwest division, I'm pretty sure. Southeast? Southeast? Yeah, yeah, southeast, my bad. But the other five are still central to this day, I'm, I'm a thousand percent sure. Then they got a Midwest division. That makes sense, but same... I mean, it does, yeah. Uh, I mean, they just had to make more divisions to break it up more, but it's kind of crazy that the Kings... Where are the Kings? Oh, the, the Kings are in... How are the Kings in Midwest? They must have relocated and then just got thrown in a different division for no reason, because that happens nowadays, too, still. Like, the Thunder are still in the... I think the Northwest division, even though they're, you know, now south, like in Texas area type of thing. But I think they're still in the division with like the Nuggets and all that and the Blazers because they used to be in Seattle. Pistons, Bulls, Blazers, and Kings all eliminated and Mavericks and Sixers both eliminated. We have Celtics, Lakers yet again, regardless of what maybe you would have thought at a certain point. Yeah, Carl Malone, Kim Olajuwon, Magic Johnson against Dennis Johnson, Larry Bird, George Gervin, Kevin McHale. Pat. You know, I'm, I'm making a, a pact. If, if things are close, if it's like a game five or something, that's when I'll jump in. Okay, hold on. Let's see. They did it. Game five i'm in screw it these are very interesting teams i won't lie but the lakers are gonna run away with this win by 13 and game six in los angeles to potentially win another ring the celtics have yet to win one in this whole sim celtics fighting back with like just under three minutes to go screw it we're jumping in with 226 left turn off this filter mother of god you know i do like this though they added the error filters little thing here i think it used to just be in the settings when you would do my league so i like that because i think that I, I remember that button being there but only when the button was there only when you did the Jordan challenges, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. Levingston passing in the ball. George Gervin about to get it. Dude, I don't know. Somebody. Okay, and a Ewing. Ewing over to George Gervin. Larry Bird standing in the corner. A nice screen by Parrish and an off ball for Larry. Off ball for Levingston. Levingston to the basket. He'll pull up a moving shot that is off and Ewing with the board in the putback. They got Parrish and Ewing in there at the same time, but then the other team should have Kevin McHale. My bad. No, no. Kevin McHale is on the bench for the Celtics. Other team has Carl Malone and, uh, and Akeem Olajuwon out there. Malone with the hair. Jamal Wilkes with the ball trying to ice so from the mid-range, Jamal goes right. He goes back left. A nice little bump there, but it was ugly. The shot was. Levingston goes left, bumps into the defense. Levingston back out. George Gervin. Gervin with the screen from Parrish. Gervin going left. Gervin pulls up and gets blocked by Akeem. Gervin goes right now. Gervin again. Gervin will go up again on Akeem, and that one is off. Hey, we are lucky we could even see a scoreboard in this era, though, because they used to only do it when it was commercial breaks or timeouts or whatever, I'm pretty sure, because they don't show uh, anything else on the scoreboard. A, a lot one in the post against Gervin. And actually, he's going to force his dribble to get picked up. And Akeem puts it up anyways. What the hell? Very unorthodox there. Levingston dribbling back up the other way. Levingston all the way to the basket. He'll put up the layup. And that is good. The lefty layup by Levingston. I don't even know who that is. That is Cliff Levingston. I knew the name, but like 81 overall. I was like, dang, like, why is he on the court right now? Dale Ellis also. Akeem in the post.
close. Hakeem fades away from dumb far and misses. Ewan with the board, 43 seconds ago. Pass it over to Gervin. Johnson hands it down to Mikhail. Down to Johnson. Johnson, the little close layup, and that is good. That is a very 1980s shot. Reggie Theus goes left. Pass down to Hakeem. Hakeem, little, little hook or whatever the hell that was. Theus going left. The spin. Reggie will pull up the shot from three. That's not even his bag. And the Lakers will lose this game. Celtics 4-7 behind Bird's 22 and 16 assists. And the Celtics are going to win their first NBA championship of the Sim, to be specific. Obviously not their first. Bill Russell would be pouting right now from the media if I said that publicly. 36 and 10 from Patrick Ewing. And uh, that's obviously, well, yeah, that, that was enough. Yeah, well-rounded scoring effort from him. And the team, Bird had six with 13 assists. Only two turnovers, not that bad. He also fouled out, though, in, uh, in 31 minutes. But yeah, uh, Larry Bird, finals MVP, 22, 5, and 11. And the Lakers-Celtics rivalry has not fallen off, but only gotten stronger from this. Dr. J has retired with the Bucks. Is there ever going to be any, what's it called yet? Like any any expansion team? Oh, they, wait, is this it? Yep. Yeah, I want to make sure I take control of them so that I don't, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't want them to re-sign their players. I like doing what I've, I've been doing. Also, just, uh, oh, oh, dang. The only trades that happened that whole season were Reggie Miller getting traded for, which was Scottie Pippen and this right here. That's kind of crazy. I don't know why that is, honestly. Draft lottery for, I think this is a very, I think it's like the Danny Manning draft or something. The Spurs get it via New Jersey. And yep, Danny Manning, Mitch Richmond. Shout out to Mitch Richmond too. I'd be thinking about like the players that are going, you know, I seen this clip a while back. Well, actually, expansion draft should be pretty interesting too. But I seen this clip a while back of, dang, it doesn't even let me see the results. I, I, my bad. It was of, here's the draft in case you care. It was of, um, who was it? I don't know why I kept wanting to say Sean Livingston, but no, I was thinking of Spencer Dinwiddie. Spencer Dinwiddie talking about how he's going to be like forgotten in the NBA landscape and everything. And it makes me think of like, who's going to be forgotten that's currently playing that's even better than he is. He was saying like stars, like even like the Damian Lillards would be forgotten. Not even as disrespect. He was just saying that's like the natural progression. But I, I'm, I'd be thinking all the time, like, damn, like they're going to look back in 20 years on CJ McCollum, who averaged like 22 and was one of the best scorers of our era the same way that like i look back on someone like a mitch richmond or like a uh like a like a glenn robinson or who am i thinking of i'm thinking of the dude from the heat glenn, glenn rice and i'm like yeah like they're there but like i i don't know what they did you know what i mean because cj technically hasn't like won anything or made all-star teams you know what i'm saying shoot there will be some good highlight tapes though regardless all right free agency Kareem's starting to get some offers now but he's not signed yet that 41 year old bastard still hasn't retired either he was still with the lakers last season right did he leave by any chance no he was there still but big signings okay Okay, Isaiah Thomas. So someone had joined the Warriors. Uh, James Worthy had joined the Warriors last year. So he's going to join James Worthy in Golden State. Michael Jordan will stay with Philadelphia yet again um, on a five-year deal this time. I don't know why his last deals were so short. Moses Malone, though, will leave him for the Pistons. Mark Aguirre goes to the Kings. Basically, it's just like free reign. You could just say, oh, yeah, I want to go there. I want to live there. And that's it. Like most people would probably go back to their hometowns, honestly, if, if there was no salary cap. I feel like that'd be like the a pre or obviously one of like the destination cities. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I I have friends that are into soccer and i think it's a lot more like leeway where like there's not really a cap or anything you kind of just can just build super teams unless i'm tweaking and uh, the blazers get some more talent they get bernard king and kiki vandaway jack sigma leaves seattle for the pistons kelly tripuka leaves or actually no he stays in detroit brad daughtery or dar t whatever the hell to the sixers I, I will never like that name that name is the worst name ever daughtry then why is it spelled like that let me see those warriors real quick so yeah golden state pretty solid not the best they got minute though I think they had to have drafted Manute. Actually, no, Manute got drafted to the Bullets in real life. I was going to say they had to they had to have drafted him again, but they didn't draft him, I don't believe it. I don't know. He went to a lot of teams. Out to Big Doug Swan. I rock with your draft classes every year. Michael Jordan, MVP. Oh, this is the first time I'm seeing the hair progression. Look at that. He's balding. Bald, bald, bald. My bad. Um, yeah. Yeah, his his uh his hair is dissipating. Chris Morris, rookie of the year, Terry Porter, six man, Akeem, DPOI, Kelly Hall, coach of the year, yada yada bada bing. Whatever. Honestly, I'm trying to just see how insane this gets. And it's getting pretty insane. I can't lie. For this era, this is about as insane as you could imagine. If we got Carl Malone and Akeem on the same team with Magic Johnson, like and the Celtics are oh, they came back and won the series anyway. Yeah, the teams are about the same as last year. I actually don't know if Kareem resigned. He did not. I don't know where he is either. It'd be funny if I went over here and he's on the 
Celtics, though. He could be. Uh, nope. I've seen Nate McMillan on the Celtics, though. You know, I just want to say, too, it's kind of historically inaccurate to have a... Wait, I swear to God, I just seen Kobe Bryant on the graphic on the left, and now he's not there. Does it change every time? Am I tweaking? Either way, the right one has Paul Pierce, so I was going to say, like, why would they have mo modern players? But I swear I clicked it, and I seen Kobe on the left. Am I? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh okay, okay. He's hidden. You can see him. You can see him when I click circle. Look, look. It's right behind where it says Michael Cooper. Bam, there he goes. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm not tweaking. I thought I was really, like, hallucinating for a second there. Why would they even put him there, though? Because you can't even see him anymore. You know what? Never mind. Celtics up 1-0, tied 1-1 again. Hey, I'm simming game sixes now. I don't want game fives. Oh, snap. We're about to go to a game six, though. Celtics take the lead. Going for back-to-back -back champions. Will they get it? Lakers fighting from down, down, eh, whatever. You get it. And it will probably not work. Wait, hold on. They fought back. And yeah, they're still going to lose anyway. Celtics win by 14. Larry Bird, 21, 15, and 6. One of the most versatile players ever. Crazily enough, beating Magic Johnson, Akeem, and Carl Malone to win his second championship of the era. Third total. 2K time. Bird cruises past Lakers. It wasn't even close as the Lakers folded completely to Larry Bird and the Boston Celtics in regulation. Active hands and good defense led to the win as the Celtics were able to rack up 11 steals. Another key to the victory for the Celtics was their hustle, racking up 52 rebounds. Despite the loss, the Lakers were still impressive beyond the arc, shooting 100%. I like that. I just read on my own the thing on the right side. I'm not going to read out the whole thing, but it basically just talks about like the change of the basketball from they think as of right now that the center is the best way to go when it comes to winning. And to be fair, it's starting to become that yet again in the NBA today with Jokic and Embiid and all them. Kareem has retired with the Bucks. Yeah, that's kind of poetic in a weird way. Also, George Gervin just retired with the Celtics. He was an 86 and they're going to lose him. So that might actually be a big loss depending on what happens. It'll be yeah, even more expansion this year. 1989, the draft for Glenn Rice and Sean Kemp. Also the expansion draft. Uh, here's some people that are going in this. It's actually some pretty solid players. 80s to start it off. And Blue Edwards went number one in the draft before Tim Hardaway to the Knicks. Sean Kemp to the Pacers at number seven. Larry Bird is a free agent and his top offer is from the Pistons. And he will re-sign with the Celtics anyways. David Robinson goes to the Bucks to follow in Kareem's footsteps. Buck Williams to the Blazers. Jay Humphreys to the Kings. That's really it though. There ain't many. Uh, oh, Scotty Pippen signs with the Celtics as well. The young Scotty Pippen. I mean, he's only, he's an 84, but it's only his second season. So he might get to like a 90 something, I think, which sounds about right. 92, maybe. Warriors going to get Reggie Miller. They steal him from Phoenix. Why does he look? He looks like the annoying orange with them beady eyes. Pretty solid team over Milwaukee though with David Robinson, Sidney Moncrief and them. Michael Jordan wins MVP. Cliff Robinson, rookie of the year. Terry Porter, six man. Michael DPOY, Scott Skiles, most approved. Harold, coach of the year with the Celtics. First team, second team. Th Wait, hold on. I was making sure Michael wasn't bald yet. Playoffs, Sixers, Rockets, Lakers. Are oh, the Lakers out of there and the Bucks out of there and the Celtics got them in the second round. We have a brand new finals, the Pistons. Mark Price, Mose Malone, Joe Dumars, Kelly. Dang, Joe Dumars went to the Pistons again against Kiki Vandeweghe. It's that team. They got all them people that, that were rejects of everywhere else. 3 1 Blazers and 4 1 Blazers. Clyde Drexler, most viable player. Bill Walton retired. I just skipped the whole draft. Draft, put it all good. Cavs get Gary Payton. Free agents this year. Magic Johnson is back in the free agency pool. And he has signed with the Hornets. The young Hornets team. I mean, literally young franchise. Akeem Olajuwon has signed with the Sixers to join Michael Jordan leaving the Lakers. The Lakers have lost everything. The Pistons get Charles Barkley. The Mavericks get Clyde Drexler. He leaves the team he just won the ring with. Sixers also get James Worthy, Michael's college teammate. Right? Michael didn't leave no Sixers ever, right? I'm just making sure. Yeah, okay, yeah. So they got Akeem. They got Dominique Brown. Brad? Wait, did Brad just sign there too? Nah, he been there. Yeah, now Michael Jordan's got the super team. We haven't seen him do much, but now he's got the real super team. The Bucks should have a decent team too, though. They just signed John Stockton. I could have sworn I seen them with a pretty... Yeah, David Robinson, Sidney Moncrief, John Stockton, Marcus Johnson, Sleepy Floyd. Not bad, but yeah, that Sixers team is, should reign supreme now. David Robinson, MVP with the Bucks. Gary Payton, Rookie of the Year. Purvis Ellison. Josh Ball, 74-8 and eight with the Sixers. Oh, so here's the leading scorers in case you care. Shout out to Magic Johnson and Charlotte. Dang, the Simmons... Uh, Sixers. Sixers got smoked. This is an insane team to get packed up. And MVP David Robinson. Finals are going to be Pistons and Mavericks. Charles Barkley's Pistons with Moses Malone back against Clyde Drexler on the Mavs. Mavs up 3-2 and a game seven. It's a two-point game with one minute to go. Back out to Mark Jackson. Jackson will pass it down a bowl. Manu oh, layup. That's good. 46 seconds to go. Detroit down by four. Wide open Barkley for the dunk. Mm, the fadeaway by uh by Clyde Drexler right there to take a four-point lead. Get it. Can I I say that one more time. Slide. Hold on. Fade away over Dumars. Ha. Ah. 
bucket. They got four point lead. Pistons still down by four now. Price trying to force it to Barkley. Barkley in the post. Oh, and he dribbles out of bounds. Charles Barkley. Wait, was it a foul? Did they call something there? Nope. Out of bounds. It's over with. Dallas will be an NBA champions. Barkley 33 and they lost. Len Bias, NBA champion. I didn't realize he was on the team. Mark Jackson, finals MVP. Mike Woodson retired. Steve Smith goes number one to the Heat. And uh, Larry Johnson, number two to the Clippers. Isaiah Thomas will leave Golden State for the Blazers. Mark Aguirre will stay with the Kings. Patrick Ewing leaves Boston for the Hornets. Joining Magic Johnson over there. Dominique says the Sixers. Carl Malone will leave the Lakers for the Mavs. Pistons keep Joe Dumars. Fat Lever stays in Portland. And so on and so forth. Uh, Chris Mullen, the Kings. And Reggie Miller really looked like a Roblox character, dog. Sixers are still goaded, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, they, they should be. And actually, Len Bias went to the Hornets, too. So they got Magic Ewing and Len over there with Lambeer. And it's the year of Shaq this year. Big time changes. It's been like 20 drafts since we've cared. Hello, the Jordan era. David Robinson, MVP. Larry Johnson, rookie of the year. Scotty, six man. Akeem, DPOY. Nate McMillan, most improved. Nathan Masters, coach of the year. He's the first, the second, the third team. All defense. Yada, yada, bada, bing. Scooby, dooby, doo. Scooby, dooby, doo. Mavericks and Celtics eliminate. We got the Sixers and the Rockets in the finals. The Rockets led by Ralph Sampson and Hershey Hawkins. Xavier McDaniel against Michael Jordan, Akeem Olajuwon, James Worthy, and the world against them. First game to the Sixers, second game of the Sixers, third game of the Sixers, and fourth game of the Sixers. That should surprise nobody. The Jordan era just started, and guess what? There he goes. But did he still have hair when he won his first ring? Because I swear he was bald. Also, they were 73-9 and nine this season. I think one of them Celtics teams, the Lakers, was better than this. Also, the Hornets were 71-11 with Patrick Ewing and Magic. Shot clock only resets when ball hits rim. Did it used to reset when it didn't hit the rim? That's kind of interesting. So reset on air balls? Maybe, maybe when it hit the backboard as well. The Shaq draft class, Nets, Nuggets, and Supersonics top three, and it's going to go to the Nets. Will they draft him or Alonzo Mourning and screw up? First pick, the Nets will pick Shaq. Second pick, Alonzo Mourning to the Heat. Skips a step from Charlotte. Sixers didn't re-sign Darius Garland's dad. Free agency, not that crazy this year, but Ralph Sampson was just in the finals, is here, and he's looking to re-sign with the Rockets, it looks like. Yep, he'll stay there, and Brad will also join them after beating them in the finals. Interesting uh, thought process there. Gary Payton is on the Sixers. They signed Gary Payton. Yeah, they just doing everything at this point. They got Gary, Michael, James Worthy, Dominique Wilkins, and Akeem, and Rod Strickland, Purvis Short, Michael Williams, Willie Anderson, all 80 pluses. Sixers team might be the best team yet this whole sim. Let's see if they dominate these 90s. I mean, they have the two dudes that won almost every ring of the whole 90s. Dave Robinson, MVP. Shaq, rookie of the year. Sean Kemp, six man. Akeem, DPOI. I just seen a clip of Damian Lillard saying that OG Ananobi pranked him and texted him, welcome to Toronto. That is hilarious. Magic, Chuck, Carl, David Robinson, Billy Owens, first team. Any team who wins 70, up oh, 72, Celtics. Huh. Tim Hardaway, Byron Scott, Anthony Mason, RP Anthony Mason, Scotty Pippen off the bench, Kevin McHale off the bench, Mitch. What the hell? I get it. I understand. Whoever wins that matchup between them and the Sixers should be insane. Sixers aren't even a second seed, and they're about to lose to this. Yep. Okay, the Hornets. Mavericks and Celtics in the finals. Mark Jackson is back with Carl Malone and Clyde. And it's a bonus. Celtics got the whole world in their team though they should win this and they will in five scotty finals mvp off the bench actually that was a very spur of the moment thing he usually is a starter bernard king blazers retirement trev lottery for penny hardaway and chris weber heat nuggets magic nets and supersonics and it'll go to the nuggets penny hardaway chris weber top two picks david robinson signed with the sixers how is that even legal i don't know akeem though left the sixers for the bullets michael jordan also left the sixers the rockets never mind a lot has changed barkley to the Blazers. Pippen stays in Boston. Clyde Jackson to the Sixers. Jordan David Robinson. So they just build another super team, basically. Um, So much has changed. I'm not even sure if I could go over all of it. I might just simulate and see who's good. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like a good plan. Dave Robinson, MVP. Larry Johnson, six man. Akeem, DPOY. Winston Garland, most improved. I told you, you shouldn't have released them. Dalen Warwick, coach of the year for the Sixers. That new look Sixers team. They got Gary Payton still with Clyde, Purvis Short, James Worthy, and Dave Robinson, and Wilkins for some reason off the bench. Yeah, they're doing just fine. They didn't even need Michael. I mean, we'll see if they actually win, but uh, Magic and Patrick. And then in the West, you got Portland, Isaiah Thomas, Charles Barkley, and Larry Johnson leading. Michael Williams, Michael Jordan, Anthony Mason, Brad, and Ralph Sampson cooking in the West. 64 wins as well. I don't know where Akeem's at. I forgot, but it don't matter. Show me some. Conference. Uh, Yep, there you go. Finals. Magic Johnson, Patrick Ewing, Derek McKee against Michael Jordan in the NBA Finals. And the Hornets 
minutes up 2-1, 3-1, and that is it. Over with Magic Johnson, 18 and 12 to win the finals. A lottery for Jason Kidd, Grant Hill and them, Heat, Timberwolves, all of that. Magic and Knicks get the top two picks. And Jay Kidd goes to the Magic, Grant Hill to the Knicks. Free agency again, Isaiah Thomas, Magic Johnson, James Worthy. It's a lot of, it's so much going on in this sim, dog. Isaiah Thomas will now join the Nets. Magic Johnson stays with the Hornets. James Worthy to the Pistons. Patrick Ewing to the to the Warriors. Carl Malone to the Sixers to take one of their spots. James Worthy's spot. Larry Bird will also join the Pistons. Shaq will leave New Jersey for the Kings after two years. David Robinson, MVP. Glenn Robinson, Rookie of the Year. Larry Johnson, Sixth Man, Akeem DPOI. Allen Houston, Most Improved. Daylon Ward, Coach of the Year. Michael and Magic, All-NBA First Team with John Williams, Chris Webber, and David Robinson. And to the finals of the Kings and Sixers. Gary Payton, Clyde Drexler, Purvis Short, Carl Malone, and David Robinson. I'm pretty sure Dominique's still on the bench, too, unless I'm tweaking. John Stockton, Mark Aguirre, Reggie Lewis, and Shaq in the West. And the Sixers and Kings go to Game 7. 124-110 win for the Sixers. Shaq will lose to David Robinson, Rod Strickland, and Carl Malone. David Robinson, Finals MVP. He gets one over Shaq, even though Shaq gonna be crying about how he dissed him when he was a kid or whatever. Adrian Dantley retired. Kevin Garnett's draft class is up and about. Actually, the Raptors, I'm pretty sure, gonna be added and get a top five pick regardless. Timberwolves are the number one, and they will fall to six past the Raptors even. I would be sick. The Nuggets get number one. Expansion draft, dang, Manute Bowl, the number one pick in the expansion draft. Just seen Eddie Jones, Nick Van Exel, Bruce Bowen in there too. Pretty solid expansion draft. Doug West in there. Why not? Robert Ori in there. The Nuggets will pick KG number one overall from high school. Rasheed Wallace goes number three. Jerry Stackhouse. A solid Rasheed Wallace making. It's not perfect. It's not even close, but hey, can't get much better than that. Free agency. This one's actually kind of mediocre, but still good at that though. Mark Aguirre will join the Sixers for his own ring. Sean Kemp uh, stays in Dallas. Chris Webber will join, leave the Cavs and join the Nets. Chris Mullen and Sean Elliott go to the Kings or stay with the Kings for Chris. You know what? I do like this. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, this is good. This year when expansion teams get added, they're not out of order and just at the end, like they usually would be after the Warriors. You know what I'm saying? But now they're still in order regardless. So that's good. Appreciate that 2K. A little, little some. Dave Robinson, an MVP. KG rookie. Allen Houston, six man. Michael Jordan, DPOI. Isaiah Ryder, most improved. Will McMillan, coach of the year with the Sixers. Is your first. Dang, Jason Kidd already on the first team in year two. You're a dose. Celtics, Mavs. Ah, da, 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 I don't care. Don't care. Da, da. Sixers and Blazers in the finals. Clyde, Carl Malone, and, and David Robinson against Joe Dumars, Chuck, and Olden Polly. Nice. Sixers up 3 0 and 4 0. David Robinson, MVP. I mean, David Robinson's got the league on lock. The 19 96 NBA draft. Heat, Timberwolves, Bucks, Magic, and Pacers. Top five. Timberwolves get the number one overall pick, but it can go many different ways. You got AI, Kobe, Stephon Marbury, Marcus Camby. Those are the first four, but there's many other players, obviously, because well, those last two aren't even closer than the top five of this draft, probably. Timberwolves go Allen Iverson, number one. Bucks will go Sharif Abdur Rahim, number two. Pacers go Steve Nash, number three. Number four, Miami will trade the pick for Kevin Johnson, and it will be Kobe Bryant to the Jazz. Ray Allen to the Magic. Marcus came to the Sonics. Uh, yeah, and so on. And so this Ray Allen got picked, right? Yeah, I think he just did. Okay. I don't think Marbury. Who did I miss? Yeah, Marbury went 10. Ben Wallace went 11. Main O'Neal, Peja. I've seen some funny clips of Hito Turglu. He seemed like a cool dude. Michael Jordan's a free agent. Still not bald, by the way. Anyways, just fake bald. But he's probably going to go to the Mavericks, it's looking like. Unless. Yep, he's going to the Mavericks. Barkley will join the Clippers. Gary Payton to the Blazers. Brad to the Celtics. Stockton to the Sixers. Kid to the Kings. Reggie Lewis to the Rockets, McKee to the Hornets, and so on. Team Muggsy Bogues, shout to Muggsy Bogues, short man. Chris Weber, most valuable. Allen Iverson, rookie of the year. Magic Johnson, six man. Shaq, DPOY, Tony McDice, most improved. Will McMillan, coach of the year. With the Sixers, Kevin Johnson actually have to get in traded for that pick. Average 33 in my. Oh, wait. No, Miami been in the league. I don't know why I'm acting like they were just ex expanded to. Yeah, but he, he's a little surprise entry there on the All NBA team. But Miami did not even make the playoffs, so it wasn't really worth none. The final are going to be the Sixers against the Kings. David Robinson and Shaq face off yet again. But Carl Malone, wait, I just realized Carl Malone and John Stockton teamed back up in Philly. Is that the first? Year? I think I, I think I would have noticed that earlier. Maybe I'm tweaking. I don't know. Kings up 3-1 and they're going to win yet again. Jason Kidd, the finals MVP this time around. They do have one hell of a squad. Oh, wait, no. That's Shaq's team winning this time. I don't know why I'm tweaking now. I mean, they are kind of all just mumble jumbled ran random all over the place. So you can't blame me too much. I'm going to do like a quick little, actually, matter of fact, do it after free agency. I was about to do a quick little like recap or whatever. Or a look back on what's going on in this league. Vince Carter's about to get drafted and so is Dirk. I just skipped past the draft lottery. Screw it. Where will they get drafted? Dirk goes number one. Vince Carter, 
number two, and they both get drafted to the Bucks. The Bucks had the top two picks in the draft, one via Indiana. Free agency. David Robinson is a free agent. He's about to leave the Sixers. I don't know. He seems to be pretty nomadic. He's going to go to the Hornets and maybe join Magic. No, wait. Oh, oh yeah. Magic's going to stay in Charlotte. Okay, but he is old, though. I wasn't sure if he retired by now. Washington will steal or actually already had Akeem Olajuwon. I honestly forgot where he went. He just kind of dissipated from the face of the league. Larry Johnson and Kevin Garnett will sign along each other, alongside each other, and so will Clyde Drexler. All to all to Sacramento. None of them were there. They did a little big three thing. Sixers lost just about everybody. I got Malone and Stockton still, but they're both actually very old now, which is kind of weird because it don't feel like it's been that long since they got drafted. Iverson's at 87 in his second season with the Timberwolves. Magic have nobody except for Ray Allen and Sprewell and Mike Bibby. David Robinson with this semi old, pretty old Magic Johnson, pretty old team in general over here in Charlotte. Miami, I mean, it's literally just Kevin Johnson. No wonder no he averaged 30, 32. Reggie Miller, 89 with a uh, old man Patrick Ewing this team. Oh, wow, they got Anthony Mason and Charles Oakley, Knicks reunion. Michael Jordan's down to a 91 at 33 for some reason. Sean Kemp with him on the Mavericks, and so is Mark Jackson. This team is putting in some work, and this team is going to be joining this year for the first time, or actually the second year, my bad. Oh, the King signed KG, and KG is now joining J Kidd and Shaq and the reigning champions. And they got Clyde, who's fallen off, but they still got Matt 85s. That's the team to go to right now in this so far. David Robinson, MVP. Antoine Jameson, rookie of the year. Rod Strickland, six man, Akeem DPOI, Bob Sura, most improved. Gregory Patterson, coach of the year with the Kings. Some Kings stacked up everybody over there. Jason Kidd, first team. Shaq, third team. Just thought I'd key in on them i think they won the most games anyone has this entire time too yeah 76 has got to be and so far they've only lost a few games in the playoffs they're gonna make it to the finals play the celtics kenny smith at a 91 kendall gill scotty victor alexander and brad against shaq kg sean elliott clyde drexler and jason Kidd. that is one hell of a squad and the celtics take game one by two but the kings will storm back hey i'm not gonna lie it's looking like a pretty good series i'm gonna send this game six even though the kings might just run away with it uh, so far it's the celtics actually Celtics up by four with 216 to go. Mullen passing the ball. Jason Kidd right in front of him. He'll get it down by four on the verge of winning a championship if they win. Kings the screen by KG, or I should say Kidd. Kidd pulls up for three. That's off. Mashbird hands it off to Tim Hardaway. Hardaway back out to Kenny Smith. Kenny Smith eventually over to Pippen. Hardaway will pull up for three, and that is off. That could have sealed the deal. Kidd back up the other way. Hands it off to Kenny Anderson, or yeah, Kenny Anderson. I, I was getting confused with the other Kenny that we just seen make the first team. But that's Kenny Anderson, though. Pass over to Kenny Smith, back out to Mashburn. What happened to the name Kenny? Did that just get be rid in, like, NBA terms? Is there any NBA player's name? I'm trying to think. Hardaway pulls up off the glass to take a six-point lead. Tim Hardaway forcing a game seven right now. And Shaq is on the bench, by the way. Is that Larry Johnson in the game? Larry Johnson is off their bench. That is insane. They got everybody on this Kings team. Kid at the line with that little free throw routine. Where he, yep, he's going to do the little. Yep, I, I know. Kid, that free throw cuts it down to five. Shaq back in the game. So is KG. So is who else they got? Sean Elliott and uh, the other one that was in the starting lineup. I forgot who. Clyde. Yep, Clyde's in there. Tim Hardaway steps back. Pump fakes to step back. Back out to Alexander over to Scotty. Scotty in the corner. He's waiting for the off ball screen set for Kendall Gill. Gill to the basket. Gill will get bumped back out to Pippen. Pippen now with 53 seconds left he'll have to pull up a contested three and that is off rebound by Shaq Shaq brings it down Drexler back up the other way he's gonna hand it off to Jason Jason the crossover and he loses Tim Hardaway and hits the layup hold on what kind of angle is this who the hell wants to watch the game from okay here you go man Jay Kidd came up and said hold on in and out oh yeah see ya hold on in and out see ya yep stunned goodbye brings it down to two with 41 seconds to go they shouldn't foul I would assume they don't even if it hits 27 seconds it's possible though pass over and Pippen open for three and that is off just barely Shaq gets the board they'll pass it up to Elliot Elliot on the break and he'll pass it down and it somehow makes it way to his way to Clyde and Clyde hits the tough layup ties it up at 116 them all the way tie 116 116 with the game in his hands to bring it to game seven potentially the screen's gonna be set the top Tim Hardaway from from Brad Tim goes right Tim to the basket he'll pull up right there and that is good off glass and Boston is going to game seven Tim Hardaway puts the team on his back Tim Hardaway, the pump fake. He pump fake three times. That, or actually, no, pump fake twice and then took the shot. An all around effort from the Kings, but still just a lose to Tim Hardaway in the Celtics. High series, game set match. And at the end of the day, they can't stop Shaq. Kings, 21 points from Shaquille in the win, nearly a 20 point win. And Kevin Garnett, finals MVP, averages 16, 9, and 5. What a crazy trio they got over there. So far, just as a little recap, kind of been breezing through to see the crazy stuff that could happen. And we have been seeing the crazy stuff that could happen. Magic and Akeem and the Lakers. 
but mostly Magic won the first three rings of this sim, and then Akeem helped him get one more. Then Larry won two over them. Then we got a weird finals over here. Portland came and stole one. Mark Jackson, the Mavericks, with that weird team they had as well. Then Michael Jordan got his one with the Sixers, but they've fallen off since, and him in general. Magic came back and got one more alongside Patrick Ewing with the Hornets. Boston, led by Larry Bird and Scottie Pippen all them years ago now. And then David Robinson went and got himself two. A one over Shaq, one over that Blazers team. And now we've seen Kidd, Garnett, and Shaq get back to back, although I don't think Garnett was there last year, right? So, so far, hey, I will say the super teams are, you know, winning, winning as you'd expect. And Magic Johnson just retired as well. Dominique Wilkins, too. Hall of Fame, Magic and Dominique. The Knicks with the number one slot to win the... Oh, they lose the Suns in the Heat. That's good. Did I put Vince Carter and Dirk in the... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, snap. Wait, I think I did. Hold on, hold on. View the youngest players in the league. Hey, the lottery, hold on, hold on. I can still change this, right? Yep, okay, bet. Hey, there's a way to fix your mistakes. That's called reversing them. I guess. Kobe's still the youngest player in the league, but I swear, yeah, there go Dirk. So what happened was, I put in 98 instead of 97, and Tim Duncan should not exist in this league yet, right? Uh, yeah, young power forwards? No. So bet. So we need 1997 instead. And then from here on, I'll just continue normally. Who cares? It'll be alright. The league's already weird as is. NBA draft number one, the Suns get Tim Duncan. That's all I really care about. Actually, T-Mac is in here. Oh, and the Knicks will get uh, Chauncey. The Heat get T-Mac. Clippers get Shaq, number one overall. Wait, not number one overall. Shaq Shaq has left the Kings for the Clippers. I don't know why I said number one overall. The Bucks will steal Scottie Pippen from the Celtics. Reggie Miller will just keep stay with the Warriors. But yeah, Shaq has broken up his dynasty over there in Sacramento. And Kobe Bryant will leave Utah for the Warriors immediately, joining Reggie Miller, actually. Allen Iverson will join the Celtics. I believe Larry Bird. Actually, no, Larry's gone. And now so is uh, Scottie. Now, the most important player in the league right now, probably, Shaq. Where is he going? Who is he joining over there in LA? Maybe he just wanted the weather. Oh, he's joining Chuck. Chuck Barkley been there for two years. KG's up to a 90. For, hey, hey, what's it called? The Kings are still going to be just, just fine. I mean, in a way. They do have to play this team now, though. According to my judges, those are probably the two best teams in the league. KG wins MVP. Tim Duncan, Rookie of the Year. Terry Mill, six man. Akeem, DPOY. Gregory Peterson, Coach of the Year. Jay Kidd and KG, both first team with Chris Webber, Steve Nash, and Akeem. And the playoffs, Sixers, Jazz, Nuggets, Wizards, so on and so on and so on and so forth. And the Clippers, oh, wow, I did not know I was simulating the whole playoffs, but I guess we see what the clues is going to be. The Clippers in a very close series eliminated by Shaq's former Kings team. He gets eliminated to his former team. And the Kings are up 3-0 and will sweep the Celtics to win another ring. Kevin Garnett and uh, and Clyde Drexler, Sean Elliott, and Jason Kidd, of course, who didn't even do much in this game as he fouled out, uh, were able to take quick work of Allen Iverson's Celtics. And Tim Hardaway still there as well. They've done a lot of damage on that team. Jeff Hornacek retired. Oh, Isaiah Thomas, James Worthy retired. Them two and Mark Aguirre made the Hall of Fame. Heat get the number one pick that's 99 ain't them i mean there's some okay talent in this oh, lamar odom's rated number one lamar odom to the heat number one overall magic get manu number two free agency yet again boom chris weber to the 76ers gary payton to the clippers to join Shaq for three years in portland jamal mashburn will leave the, uh, the boston to join that super team of the kings Penny hardaway will join kobe and reggie miller on the warriors michael jordan will stay in dallas and so on and so forth in a while here's a look at who the best players in the league are these days kg's a 96 dave robinson a 95 kobe a 94 ai a 93 here's the 90 90s as a total still only about like 18 of them maybe 20 chris weber mvp manu rookie of the year vin baker six man shaq dpoy vince carter most improved tim buckner coach of the year is the first team and it's a game seven in the finals i literally just stopped the sim right as it was tied 3-3 between chris weber and john stockton sixers and jason kidd jamal mashburn and kg's kings i literally stopped it right as it was 3-3 which is kind of insane i accidentally keep on i keep on simming the playoffs because usually in the newer era it's stops it when the conference comes around because they do the little mvp thing hey don't matter though because the kings won uh yep kg another finals mvp 23 and 10 with seven assists fourth straight ring for sacramento two of them without shack i'm pretty sure joe dumars retired wait did i just see who i think i saw mike brown retired okay this is not the mike brown from the from the coaches because yeah he's 6'10 that's not that's not accurate john stockton terry cummings and clark kellogg hall of fame 2000 nba draft we might as well simulate this and throw it auto generated players at this rate Kenyon martin first of the jazz 
this. Day 11 of free agency, and David Robinson has joined the Bucks from Charlotte. Jason Kidd has left the Kings for the Nets. He joins Brooklyn slash, well, New Jersey currently yet again. Sean Kemp goes to the Hornets. McKee go stays with the Hornets. And honestly, most of these guys are pretty old. So yeah, three years away from the LeBron era or whatever. Well, the Kobe era, but LeBron's draft class. You know, my, my thing is, I know some people in real life will have like the gripes and be like, oh yeah, it should actually be called the Tim Duncan era. Or, you know, I, I really don't care personally. My thing is, if you're going to make it the Kobe era, then make him good in the game. But he'd be getting smoked in every single simulation I do. Yeah, I think this year he might have had some good runs, but maybe last year. I don't remember, but screw it. Chris Webber, MVP. Kenyon Martin, Rookie of the Year. Vin Baker, Six Man, Shaq, DPOI. Andre Miller, Most Improved. Butch Carter, Coach of the Year. Here's the first team. Conference Finals packed up. And wow, the Kings are going to lose in the Conference Finals to the Warriors. Kobe Bryant, Penny Hardaway, Glenn Robinson. Kobe Penny, Glenn Robinson, Anthony Mason, Bryant, Reeves. A Kobe heard me. He decided to make his way over here. But actually, I get the Kings losing. Jason Kidd's in the Nets, and he is here. The Warriors win game one and game two and game three. Lost one. And Kobe Bryant, finals on the appeal. Yeah, he definitely heard me. He's cooking. 24, 7, and 7 on 61% from the field, 94 from the line, and 50 from three. When his first championship in Golden State, Golden State was uh 70 and 12. And they were behind the 45 and 37 Rockets because of the division stuff, which is insane. Clyde Jackson like retired with the Bulls. Charles Barkley's out of here. Michael Jordan's out of here. And so is um Muggsy Bogues. Hang. Hall of Fame class was Michael Clyde Barkley and Ewing. Did Ewing retire too? Oh, yeah, he's right there. Clyde and Michael get their jersey retired. Michael actually stood in, you know, Philly for nine years and won one ring. 2001 draft, another kind of stinker, but not really. It's an okay draft. How Tony Parker, Jason Richardson, Gilbert Arenas are the top four picks. Gilbert, watch out for him on the Magic. He'll probably end up being a problem as usual. That could be a double entendre depending on how you look. You know what? KG signs with the Celtics. He leaves Sacramento after losing and losing J. Kidd. Shaq goes from the Clippers to the Grizzlies. And Tony McDice goes to the Nets. Larry Johnson to the Kings. Jerry Stackhouse to the Sixers. Scotty Pippen to the Bucks. I believe he's actually staying with the Bucks, but either way, you know, same deal. But hey, it's looking like Kobe's team might still be the best one as of today. And they're not near like the peak, you know, best super team, which I believe was Philadelphia still to this day, that Michael Jordan team, but they only won one ring with that squad. Bro, I download, there's only three 2002 draft classes I downloaded and it's not even real. It's, it's LeBron and Melo draft. That's not even the right draft. Does this draft like not exist or something? Right there. Probably got some fake people and not all the real people in here, but nobody else is making this draft class. So I guess I'll have to deal with it. Shout out to all the people that make this stuff. I fully agree with the fact that I would not be here without like the people that actually put in the work behind the scenes and everything and just have like a genuine joy. Like I've a friend that was trying to bring over made draft classes on 2k23 and was literally made a spreadsheet to write down and bring over every single rating of his draft class like that is insane i don't think he's made him yet so i won't shout him out just yet but yeah chris weber mvp gilbert rookie of the year joe smith six man shaq dpoy larry hughes most improved anthony wilkins coach of the year ray allen manu chris weber tim duncan and shaq all nba first team finals is going to be the warriors versus the nets yet again and the nets have team do they already have T-Mac? Because I swear they didn't have T-Mac. Starting the two now against Kobe. And they might actually have the better team on paper. Warriors go up 1-0 though. Oh, they go up 2-0. Oh, they go up 3-0. 3-1. 3-2. Nets fighting back all the way to a game seven. T-Mac versus Kobe. Is Kobe about to blow a whole 3-0 lead? And it looks like he might. Kobe Bryant and the Warriors. He had 24 on 24 shots. Penny Hardaway 18-8. and eight, But they lose to Marbury, McDice, Tracy, Mourning in a four straight wins. Alonzo Mourning, finals MVP. And the Warriors. Warriors had 70 wins this season. Nets had 69 wins, so weren't too far off. Hakeem retired. Carl Malone, Charles Oakley, Lynn Bias, Danny Manning. 2002 draft. Suns and Timberwolves get the top two picks. Karan Butler and Amari Stoudemire go top two. And then Yao Ming goes three to the Raptors. Free agency. Kobe Bryant is here. Kobe is going to sign with the Nets after losing to them. The most ultimate KD. And the crazy thing, this might be the most insane display of no cap we have ever seen. No salary cap. Because the Nets have have also signed Allen Iverson. They do lose Stephon Marbury. He will leave New Jersey for the Grizzlies after seeing two guards take his spot. But the Nets, as they're probably still improving as well, now get the two best players from the 96 draft, Iverson and Kobe, with Jason Kidd, with T-Mac, with Alonzo Mourning, with Mike Bibby and Antonio McDice and Robert Ory. They are destined to win probably every ring right now. Um, Ray Allen also goes to Denver from Detroit. Harry Payton. Yeah, we don't really care right now what, what the Nets got going on over there because I go over to all players 
players right now. Sure, Chris Webber, KG over there in Boston, but you got Kobe, T Mac, both nets, another net right here, and another net right here, right in the first frame of the best players in the league. And it is time for the 2003 NBA draft coming right up. And the Kobe era begins. Baron Davis MVP. That's a what? How? Uh, you know what? Sure. Yep, that's good. That's good. I think I've told this story before. One time I was at a Knicks game in like 2016, and we was outside trying to get autographs, and Baron Davis just walked by like nobody noticed him. I think like two people maybe, but we just let him keep, keep going. And yeah, that was it. Yao Ming, rookie of the year. Joe Smith, six man. Shaq, DPOY. Jace Richardson, most improved player. And uh, Barry Farrell, coach of the year for the, the Nets, of course. Danielle Marshall, all NBA first team. What a, another one. What a, what a sentence. What a statement. And the Nets lost in the second round to the Bucks. Somehow, some way, the Nets lost. Maybe it's just too much of a power struggle over there. They lost to Steve Smith and Joe Smith and Dirk and David Robinson. Okay, that's actually a pretty good team, but they lost too. So, I mean, hey. Andre Miller, Marcus Canby, Chris Weber, and Jerry Stackhouse. Hey, there is some great teams, though. I won't lie. Penny Hardaway and Shreve Abdul Rahim playing against them. Oh, wow. The Sixers just won in game seven. I'm not going to lie. I just clicked simulate round because I didn't think it'd be like this. And they won by four as well. And I think the uh, the Warriors just blew a 3 1 lead. Yeah, game one, they won. Game two, they won. Okay, no, it wasn't a 3 1, but it was pretty back and forth. It was 2 0. It was too late when I tried to stop it. Scotty Pippen, Bucks. And he retires, makes the Hall of Fame. Number 20, retire with the Celtics where he won rings, or at least one ring. Oh, snap. I just went right over the draft lottery. Spurs, Raptors, Jazz, Pacers, and Timberwolves get the top picks. With the Spurs the worst team? They were second worst. The Jazz were the worst, and the Raptors were also worse than them. The Raptors go two, and the Jazz go three, and the Spurs jump up a little bit. But for the most part, it stood pretty relatively okay. NBA draft of 2003, the first overall pick, the Spurs will select LeBron James. Number two, the Raptors get Dwayne Wade. Number three, the Jazz get Carmelo Anthony. Number four, the Pacers will get Chris Bosh. Simple as that. The LeBron James will be for now on the Spurs. But we haven't seen do really anything. Also, is it not expansion year this year? I think that might be next year. I don't know. Do the Hornets get added? Or Bobcats, I should say? I guess that's next year. I just realized that Chris Webber looks entirely different this year on 2K. You know, he really didn't look like himself. So this is a good reworking. I mean, I wouldn't say it's good. I can't really think of what Chris Webber looks like right now, but I know what he looks like, if that makes any sense. 2K is notoriously mediocre at old school face scans, though. He'll stay with the Sixers after just losing the finals. Wait, did they lose? I forgot already. Oh, no, he won. Okay, yeah, he'll stay with the team where he won the ring. Vince Carter will leave the Wizards for the Bucks. Jamal Mashburn stays with the Kings. Paul Pierce to the Grizzlies from Boston, actually. I had no clue he was even there. Penny Hart. Wait, so it was him and KG in Boston this whole time? And they did nothing. They that stuff. Penny will stay in Golden State uh, even after losing. David Robinson signs in, in New Jersey as well. And I think I just saw Pau Gasol did too. There's no way they got all these people on the Kobe, T-Mac, Kidd, Iris, and McDice, Morning, Pau Gasol, David Robinson. They got the world on this team. If they don't win this year, they're a disappointment. KG MVP 24 and 13 with seven assists from him on the Celtics. LeBron rookie of the year averaging 30. I think last time I said that was for Jordan. Vin Baker, six man of the year. Shaq, DPOI. Michael Red, most improved. Isaiah Thomas, a coach now, coach of the Nets. He did it again, became a coach. And uh, last time it didn't go so well. So hopefully it goes better for the Nets this time. Nets so far running through the playoffs and they'll barely win over the New Orleans Hornets. And the Nets and Warriors will play in the finals. Kobe versus his former team of the Warriors. Um, Is I Iverson off the bench, I'm assuming. Yeah. Allen Iverson's their sixth man. That's how good bro or New Jersey is. Anyways, game one to the Nets. Game two to the Warriors. Game three to the Warriors. Game four to the Warriors. Game five to the Nets. Hey, six, game six, back against the wall somehow. I don't know what's wrong with this team. Besides, like, it's just too much talent for it not to work, is what you'd assume. Even the bigs are good. Like, it's not like they have, like, weaknesses. And they are going to lose to Golden State. Len Robinson, finals MVP in a finals with all of those guys I just named. Even on his own team. Reggie Miller, old self, Penny Hart away who barely did anything in this game i mean he had a live assist david robinson nets retiree couldn't go out on a ring sadly for himself even though he's already got like 40 of them okay well he has two rings and two finals mvps but he has seven mvps and kevin johnson also made the hall of fame 2004 dwight howard draft also the league's about to be realigned hornets or bobcats i mean will be added expansion draft bobcats will get wow ben wallace number one is that no no they let Dwayne wade go in the expansion draft what what no no just go to him no just end the draft. I seen Kwame too. I do not care. Hold on. Dwayne Wade in the expansion draft. How is that possible? What team was he on? Toronto averaging 22. Yao Ming. This this team, you let Dwayne Wade go? What are we on? What are we doing? That is insane. And even Ben Wallace, he was actually on Detroit again, which is kind of insane that uh, happened again. And I mean, I, I get it. He's like 29. Well, why wouldn't you just give up Kurt Thomas instead? Like, I don't, what is going on? It was only one team in the expansion. How did you, how was you even pressured to give up Dwayne Wade? 
played. Dwight Howard, I'm assuming. Will, oh my God, the first pick traded for Nick Van Exel in a next year's first. And Dwight Howard will go to the Rockets instead of the Suns, I think it was. Iguodala to the Raptors. Supersonic at Devin Harris. Uh, I don't even care. That's insane. The, the first pick traded, Dwayne Wade, let go. A lot of free agents. I've seen T-Mac and KG at the top of the list. And T KG will go to the Raptors. T-Mac, actually, that's where Dwayne Wade just got let go from. Um, Shaq will go to the Bucks. T-Mac will go to the Pistons. That's where Ben Wallace just let go of. I mean, hey, they got rid of his contract, I guess. I don't know. Big Kid stays on the Nets. Tim Duncan will join the Heat. He's actually already been on the Heat. I'm lying. I also don't know why. Were rookie contracts only two years? Like, I don't know why this keeps on happening. I, maybe they were, I guess. Yes, I don't, I don't really know. Reggie Miller will sign with the Lakers after winning that ring in Golden State. For some reason, he leaves. I mean, yeah, whatever. Up to you, buddy. And Yao Ming to the Lakers. There's a lot of really good teams, honestly. I can't even. There's like a lot of like sleeper 86 overall stacked on certain teams. I think this year is kind of up for grabs. Carmelo Anthony wins most viable player averaging 39 in his second season as an 85 overall on efficient shooting as well. If anything, his least efficient thing was free throw shooting in comparison to like the average. Dwight Howard, rookie of the year. Baron Davis six men wait what he went from mvp to six men in like two years mvp to six men yes into that you know what this league is hilarious dog Dwayne wade most improved player duh yeah duh isaiah thomas coach of the year with the nets they're still the best team even post all their losses and moves and things of that nature yeah it looks like the nets are gonna walk their way onto the finals and play the warriors yet again penny sharif abdurrahim who did they lose they all oh, they lost off uh, they lost reggie but they still have why did i act like team Mac was like, I mean, T Mac's a huge loss, but they still have J Kid, AI, Kobe, at McDice, and Pow. Anyways, running back this finals. Hopefully, it is a close series so the a game can be watched out of this. It's 2 1, 3 1, Nets favor, and 3 2. Warriors fighting. Do I care enough? Yes, yeah, screw it. Why not? Warriors are going to win and force the game seven. They would be coming back from down 3 1 if they pull this off, but Nets running out with an early lead. The Nets will hold on. It went by 14 and win, I believe, their first ring. Jason Kidd, finals MVP. VP. I'm not about to read off everything, but here's a little recap on the rings that have been won as of late. And oh, well, yeah, the Nets won before they brought every free agent from the world. They did that little 3-0 comeback against Kobe. And then actually Alonzo left, which I never even really thought about. And they got everybody else and continued to lose for some years. But they got it. They, you know, two years of disappointment and they're back. So Kid and Kobe both with their second rings, I want to say. Actually, no, Kid had even more with, with the Kings. How many rings does he have? Six? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's doing just fine. I mean, Kid has won on, what, three different teams? No, two. Two, two different teams with like multiple different cores at this point definitely a winning player tim hardaway retired dino retired tony retired dang no hall of famer uh giraffe lottery for chris paul screw it just show me where he gets drafted but i even see where he got drafted chris paul went to the raptors oh maybe this is their Dwayne wade plan i don't know wait didn't they just sign like a really good player that i was like oh snap he went to the raptors right right am i tweaking yeah kevin garnett how the hell did they get the first pick with kevin garnett the multiple time finals mvp anyways iverson's a free agent and so is like steve nash i just seen as well iverson Iverson's going to leave after winning his first ring with the Nets to go to the Hornets. Baron Davis to the to the Sixers from the Lakers. Ray Allen. Yeah, I'd be pissed too if I turned to a six man. Who the hell was even starting over him? Gilbert was starting over Baron Davis. That's why he was off the bench. Anyways, Ray Allen will also sign with the Hornets alongside Allen Iverson. Steve Nash will also sign with the 76ers. Hey, Baron Davis might be a six man again. Abdul Rahim to the Spurs. McDice to the Nets. So Abdul Rahim joins LeBron. Uh, What else? Oh, never mind. LeBron has left the Spurs for I really don't know why these two years keep on happening, but he has left the Spurs for the Bucks. Is it because I have like the contract extensions? Hold on. Check the Celtics. I, it is. Wait, it might be. I'm not sure. But either way, they keep on declining these team options. And it's pretty funny, though. So I'm going to let it keep going. <laughs> Speaking of that, I just seen Melo. Did Melo leave his team yet or did he even sign yet? MVP Carmelo Anthony, where you at? Oh, Melo is going to join the Magic from Utah. Interesting decisions here. Um, And yeah, that's about that. So LeBron's the Bucks. Here's a little run down the league. Hey, put this in slow-mo if you care. Watch this. Woo! Yep, that's right. You're going to put this in, in negative two speed if you want to see what happened there. Hey, hey, I mean, hey. Number for real, though. Um, Sixers are pretty good. This team has players. The Bucks are actually have Vince Carter, Dirk, Shaq, LeBron. What? Yeah, y'all got it. Y'all got it. Go ahead. What's crazy, though, is that these team options are getting declined, even though usually when I do Sims where I have full control. Right, right. So hear me out. So even when I do Sims where I have full control, when I click on the tab that says team options, they usually accept the obvious one. So that shouldn't even be possible regardless. Like, usually if I 
sim through that, I wouldn't even make the mistake to decline someone like LeBron. So I don't even know how that's possible. But hey, I'll take it. They're making another step of insanity for me. Also, why are the Sixers 28 and 3 right now? Yeah, I mean, I get it. Your team, yeah, you know, your team is great. Your team is great. I can't hate. Man, oh man, these Sixers about a yeah, Gilbert Arenas MVP, by the way. Darren Williams, rookie of the year over Chris Paul, Mellow Six Man, Tim Duncan, defensive player, Mush Parker, most improved player, Philip Parker, coach of the year with the Sixers. First team, Gilbert, Tracy, Sharif, Tim Duncan, Dwight. And to the finals, you get the Sixers and the Hornets. Steve Nash, Chris Webber, Marcus Canby, Steven Jackson, Jason Richardson against Allen Iverson and the Hornets. It's looking like the East is much, much better than the West in this scenario, although AI does take one game again, just like the 0-1 finals. Chris Webber, MVP of the finals. Sixers have just maintained relevance the entire time, basically. Not the entire, well... Uh -huh. And is Scott retired? 2006 draft class. This one's kind of weak. It's a good one. Oh, yeah, never mind. Randy Foy went number one to the Cavs. Shout out to Rudy Gay. Rockets. Kobe is a free agent again after his stint over there in New Jersey that dominated the league for a few of those years. I mean, he's got he's got only two rings so far. And he won one of them in Golden State. Dirk also after his career in Milwaukee thus far is here. And Vince Carter, Stephon Marbury. Kobe Bryant is going to join the Miami Heat. Vince Carter to the Sixers. Dirk to the Magic. The Sixers just loaded up on even more talent. I don't know if it's like a glitch in the system. People just want to go to the first team on the list. It's honestly possible, but they got Chris Webber, Vince Carter, Steve Nash, Baron Davis, who, like I said earlier, is a six man again, but at least he's winning rings now. Jason Richardson, Jermaine O'Neal, Marcus Camby, Vin Baker, Andre Miller, Hito Turkoglu, uh, Michael Red. Still do got these, this Celtics team with Shaq and LeBron, but or Bucks, I mean to say, I just saw the green. Jesus, look at how just dissipated, this dismantled this Clippers roster is. Kobe and Tim together in Miami now. Player progression. There you go. Actually, matter of fact, who's the best players in the league at this point? KG still out there cooking. We've seen his, you know, him cook in the league for many years upon a time. Just seeing Chauncey Billups in the top 10. You get it. Gilbert MVP. Andrea Bargnani, rookie of the year. Manu, six man. KG, DPOI. Chris Paul, most improved. Philip Parker, coach of the year. For those Sixers. He's the first team. Hello, Sharif Abdurrahim. And to the finals, the Magic and, or my bad, the Grizzlies and the 76ers. Magic got eliminated. Grizzlies with Chauncey, Stephon Marbury, Paul Pierce, Chris Bosh, and Wang Zizi. Sixers are likely on a different level, but you know, it's still up. They're still playing basketball. Yeah, that, that's 4-0. Chris Webber, Finals MVP again. Larry Johnson retired. This year, I just saw Gilbert was a free agent and he's in a stay in LA. Paul Pierce will leave Memphis for the Kings. Chauncey Billups will stay in Memphis. Jason Richard leaves Phil Jason Richard's son leaves Philadelphia for the Spurs. Sorry, I don't know why I said Jason Richard. Gilbert MVP, KD rookie of the year. With the I forgot to even look at the draft. <laughs> with the Clippers, AI, six man, KG, DPOI, Keon Dooling, most improved. John Stockton, coach of the year with the Sixers. Wow. That other dude had a job taken by John Stockton mid dynasty. Here's the first team shot to Bargnani. Playoffs. Damn, look at the West. They got every team out of there. Actually, no, both conferences, both one seats. Philly got eliminated in the first round. The Heat and the Warriors make it to the finals, and that is actually Penny Hardaway, Joe Johnson, and them. Penny is back against Kobe Bryant and Tim Duncan. There's been a lot going on. I'm not gonna lie. I took a day break in between, like, I don't know. I, I didn't announce it, but a few seasons ago, but if I'm, you know, sorely mistaken, if I'm not, you know what I'm saying, Penny and Kobe were teammates. Also, I did not mean to simcast this. I haven't been simcasting game ones this whole time. It was instinct. My bad. It was low-key a decent game, but the Heat win game one. And Tim Duncan and Kobe up 2-1, tied 2-2 with the Warriors. Warriors come back to take a 3-2 lead, and they're going to win it. Joe Johnson, finals MVP. Yeah, I don't believe Penny's left the Warriors since the, this whole time. Or no, no, he was in Denver and Cleveland. But yeah, he's 36 and still. He's actually only 84 now, and he's still cooking. His, his name just holds weight. Alonzo Mourning retired. George Murison tall self retired. 37 years old at 7'7 is kind of insane. 2008 draft. This actually is another big one. You know, this is where we start to get in the, the prime time draft era, the era that changed the NBA. And it's going to go to the Hawks. They'll draft Kevin Love, number one overall. OJ Mayo goes number two. And then D Rose and Westbrook go to the Blazers and Timberwolves. Yeah, that's a blunder by the top two right there. I can't lie. I don't care how good Kevin Love is. I mean, he might end up, you never know with these, but OJ Mayo is a crazy pick over them too. Free agency, I just seen KG up there. You know, he always holds value. And for the love of God, he is going to the Sixers. T-Mac will go back to the Nets after a four-year stint in New Jersey. I'm not even sure who's there anymore. Um, Amari will join the Celtics. Chris Webber will also still stay in Philly. So he's going to give away his starting spot more than likely to KG or they might start together. Who knows? Shaq will leave Milwaukee for the Grizzlies. Jason Terry also stays on the Grizzlies. And Yao Ming stays in LA. But that's about that. And so Yao Ming was like 21 when he got drafted. I didn't realize he was that 
old. I thought he maybe was a little bit younger. Like, you know what I mean? Not that 21 is old, but in NBA terms, you could have been like 19 and getting drafted. The Warriors, okay, well, you are the reigning champions, but aside from that, Sixers, yeah, they got Steve Nash, Baron Davis. Oh, Chris Webber is getting worse, though, so this is a good signing to, for preservation of life. The Bobcats with D. Wade, LeBron, and his okay team over there in Milwaukee. You never know with him, but he does tend to settle in a lot of these Sims. You know, you never know. Brandon Roy and KD now team. Dang, Brandon Roy's already 24. Wait, what? Is that for real? Was Brandon Roy really 23 as a rookie? Because that makes it, that changes a lot on my perception of like his career. But I don't think, is that really true? He was. He was 22 as a rookie. Because I could much more, you know, like, because that means that around the time he started getting like career ending injuries, he was already 25, 26. And that makes it a lot more feasible. Like it makes a lot more sense in, in my mind for a 25, 26 year old to be getting those injuries rather than like a 22 year old. It's not really that big of a difference, but it is though. Getting injured like that really is hell though. Like that really, that really sucks. Cause some people really are, I mean, it's people are just born that way. Like genuinely speaking, I know there's preventable ways to get away with it, but like I got like family members who will just like tear Achilles and ACL just like multiple times. It's funny because people will be watching how I play basketball and be like, oh, you play slow or you play like uh, like Kyle Anderson. And it's funny because the way that I play, I didn't do this intentionally, but it has led to me. I've never been like injured for real, like off of basketball. And I've, I've, I've had like years where I played a lot, like in terms of like 5v5s, whether it's like, you know what I'm saying? Very casual setting or whatever. Like I, I know people that have gotten injured and yeah, I've never gotten injured. Any trades happening these days? Uh, yeah, Steve Blake for Brendan Haywood, Aaron Brooks for a first round pick, Rudy Fernandez, Ahmed Haddadi, T-Mac MVP. Yeah, T-Mac gets the MVP, D Rose, rookie of the year on the Blazers, AI, six man of the year in New Orleans, LeBron, DPOY, KD, most improved, Isaiah Thomas, 75 and seven with the Nets. The Nets are back. T-Mac over there with Pal Gasol, Tyson's, oh yeah, this is a great team still. You got the MVP leading it. Magic get eliminated again and so do the Kings. And we got the Warriors back again with Jay Williams starting over Penny, unless Penny left, you never know. It's crazy this team is even here. They don't even look like a finals team. But they're the one seed. How many how many games they won? 66 games. They don't look like a finals team in this league is what I really should say. The Nets are gonna win in six, and yeah, in six, T-Mac finals MVP. There's another little, you know what I'm saying? Sporadic look back on what's been going on. Sixers and Nets and Warriors have won every single ring since the decade started. The decade's about to be over, shoot. Next ring is in the 2010s. So yeah, that's it. The decade will start and end. I mean, you can count the 10th year, sure, as the 2010s or whatever. Actually, no, I, I take that back because this one's in 2000 then, so that's the Kings. But still, you got nine years straight of these dudes. And then the Kings had four straight right before that with KG. Dewan Howard retired. This is Nuggets, Pacers, Suns, top three, and Steph's in this draft class, as you should know. That was Blake. Let's see, where they go? Blake goes number one, Harden goes number two, and Steph goes number three to the Suns. I mean, that's the top three I would expect, but maybe not in that order. But I mean, you know, it's fine. I mean, it's an overall order. LeBron's a free agent the second time in his career. D Wade now signs with the Sixers while LeBron stays over there in Milwaukee. The Cavs get Vince Carter. First take dirt. Tim Duncan will go to the Warriors from Miami. But Kobe's going to be over there in Miami for now. Melo will also sign or he'll go to the Magic where he already was. Okay. okay. That's why they were so competitive every year. I forgot about that. Ray Allen over there in a, now it's, it's, I'm seeing a Pelican logo in the back, but it's telling me it's the New Orleans Hornets, right? Am I tweaking? I see that big body Pelican flying around. Yeah. So uh, Ray Allen stays with the New Orleans Hornets. Baron Davis will stay with the 76ers. Steve Nash will leave the Philadelphia for the Pacers, but they replace him with Dwayne Wade. So, you know, they just get younger again. Sharif Abdul Rahim also leaves San Antonio for the Warriors. The Warriors stacking up talent right now. Tim Duncan, him, they already were making the finals on some weird stuff. On Iverson to the Kings and so on and so forth. Manu to the Kings. Chris Bosh stay or goes to the Spurs from Memphis. Jason Kidd will leave the Nets for the first time in a long time and go to the Spurs as well. There's no continuity in this league. It's go where you must be. Must be. That's really it. And by the way, I changed none of the settings. I could show it, but I mean, I changed none of the settings in regards to like, oh, like re-signing strength or whatever, or teams wanting to re-sign their players' strength. Like none of that. No, everything, everything's the exact same. This is all default settings except for a salary cap being off and that other thing, the contract extensions. I don't know if I said it already, but I rock with uh this dude's draft classes now. He got some nice draft classes. I saw detailed in the name and he got me. And they're kind of nice. Jesus, the Nuggets are two and 21. Of course, they just beat the Bobcats. Chris Paul, MVP. Steph Curry, rookie of the year. Chris Bosh, six man. LeBron, DPOY. Jared Bayless, most improved. Will Cooper, coach of the year. And the Celtics and Spurs will go to the finals. Dirk, Jason Richardson, Jason Kidd against Amari, Corey Maggetti, and Mike Bibby. Spurs will up oh, 3-1 and 4-1. Dirk, finals MVP. By the way, that's another.
another Jason Kidd ring. How many? That's like eight or nine at this point. Yes, eight rings and two back to back in two different cities. And he has retired at 37 years old. Jay Kidd might be like a top five player right now. I would assume he didn't like get like MVPs or nothing like that, but he won eight rings and was a leader on every team he was on. It's two jerseys retired with the Kings and the Nets. Is he a ring chaser or a trendsetter? John Wall and Paul George go to the Nuggets and Suns and Boogie to the Knicks. Kobe Bryant will sign with the Warriors. Or actually, he got drafted. So he go, or never mind, the second team he went to. Uh, he goes back. Paul Pierce stays in Sacramento. Chauncey Billups will take Jason Kidd's spot in San Antonio. Role needed to be filled. Jason Richardson will leave San Antonio for the Mavericks. White Howard stays with the Kings. Joe Johnson stays with the Warriors and so on and so forth. And we're officially in the LeBron era. This is the first video I've done where I've like came across it. I think previously they would just call this the modern era and just started right here. But now it's the LeBron era. Chris Paul wins MVP. John Wall, rookie of the year. Chris Bosh, six man. LeBron, DPOI. Kyle Lowry, most improved. Bill Sampson, coach of the year. Here's the first team. Hello, Jason Richardson and Yao Ming. Yao would be like retiring around this time, but instead there he goes. And the finals is going to be the Warriors versus the Celtics. Derek Rose on Boston. He got drafted there? No, he got drafted to Portland. He's in, he's in Boston now. He's there with Amari, actually. Two of my favorite dunkers. Athletic. Actually, both of them were number one. That's one thing also. Kobe, uh, Ron Artest, Shreef Abdurrahim. 2010 finals. Kobe's back again. Actually, no, it's 2011 this year. Warriors go up 2-0, 2-1, 2-2. Warriors lead. And they just fought back in the second half to take the lead. And the Warriors are going to be your NBA champions. An insane fight back. 43 over 32 in the fourth. 37 over 25 in the third. And Joe Johnson wins finals MVP over Kobe and Sharif Abdurrahim and Tim Duncan. Was Tim Duncan even starting? Kobe only averaged 13. I had 13 this last game too. Shaq has retired with the Bobcats. Man, that would be a meme of hell. Bobcats, Shaq. Kenny made the Hall of Fame and Jamal Mashburn with them. 2011, another huge draft. Kawhi Leonard goes number one to the Blazers, Suns, and his Cantor. Raptors, Kyrie, Rockets, Kemba Walker. Tristan Thompson went before Clay again. Clay to the Wizards. And Jimmy Butler goes 11 to the Clippers. Free agency. T Mac to the Nets. Chris Paul the Hornets, Amari to the Bucks, Tony Parker, the Hornets as well. Yao Ming saves the Lakers. C Mac wins MVP. Kawhi, rookie of the year. Chris Bosch, six man. LeBron, DPOY. Kevin Love, most improved. Eddie Jordan, coach of the year with the Magic. The finals are going to be the Warriors and Magic. Warriors, Kobe Bryant starting with Tim Duncan. Magic. Melo finally makes it here with Mike Conley. Tied 2 2, up 3 2 for the Magic. And it's a game seven. The Warriors win by 30. And Warriors, Kobe Bryant, finals MVP. Anthony Davis. Davis draft to the Rockets, Dame to the Jazz, the Jazz up the road. I want to play for Jerry Slow. Kevin Garnett will stay with the Sixers, Dwayne Wade to the Bucks, leaving the Sixers, Gilbert Arenas from the Lakers to the Kings, Ray Allen to the Magic, Andre Bargnani to the Grizzlies, yada yada bada bing. KD was on the Nets. When the hell did you get? He left there. Oh, okay. It was when he was younger, so I didn't even see it. He's on the Nets. The one MVP, Anthony Davis, Chris Bosh, who was actually on the Spurs, LeBron, Steph Curry on the Pistons, most improved player, left Phoenix after two years doug neely bucks coach of the year kings and nets in the finals that's kd t mac wow ad and t mac that how have they not won anything yet anyways gilbert paul pierce and dwight against them though so they might actually still not win uh yep they're gonna lose to gilbert arenas in the finals anthony bennett his draft of course the best player of all time cj mccollum goes number one to the suns Giannis goes number three to the thunder and trey burke number two to the blazers kind of sad that trey burke isn't in the game anymore free agency lebron stays with the bucks still kd will leave the nets for the Sixers, another player of the Sixers. So will Corey Maggette, although I, I don't know he was on Boston. Dirk will stay in San Antonio. Vince Carter leaves Cleveland for the Bobcats. LeBron wins MVP with the Bucks. Giannis, Rookie of the Year. Baron Davis, six man. LeBron, DPOY. JaVale, most improved. Brendan Owens, Coach of the Year. Arden Curry, LeBron, AD, and Boogie, first team. And the finals will be two game sevens in the conference finals, and it will be the Kings against the 76ers. Rondo versus Kyrie. Gilbert versus OJ May. Paul Pierce versus KD, KG versus AK, and Dwight versus Pow. Actually, a very even finals. This is one of the more even finals I've ever seen. With that being said, Kings ran away with the first two, and it's 3 1, and it's 4 1. On paper, it was even, but it wasn't. I mean, eh, it was, yeah, it went both. Yeah, there was like a shooting guard mismatch for one, and then a powerful mismatch for the other. So it's like, you know, it was pretty even. But the Kings are going to run, run away with it again. KD will lose to the Kings again. So I guess we should wait on him to join them. But all due respect. NBA Draft 2014, MB to the Heat, Wiggins to the Rockets, Jabari Parker to the Pacers, Levine to the Wolves, and Jokic to the Suns. 
free agency of 2014. Westbrook will join the Hornets, Charlotte Hornets at that. You know, they've made a few switches along the way. Dirk to the Spurs, Melo to the Lakers from Orlando. Kobe will join the Kings, who just won the ring. And Pau Gasol will also stay there. So they're actually going to team up again, I'm pretty sure. I swear Kobe and, yeah, Kobe and Pau were together in like Golden State or something of the Nets. I don't know. KG, has any one player stood on their team for the entire duration? I swear I've seen every player leave their team at some point. Michael actually almost did it early on with that one team that he stood with for like the first like 12 years. But yeah, Joe Johnson leaves Golden State for the Celtics. Uh, Dwight Howard leaves the Kings for the Mavs. Kevin Love, Memphis stays there. Derrick Rose also joins the Hornets alongside Westbrook. So they will be a backcourt mates if they both start. Hopefully neither one has a shooting guard tag, but figure it out. Screw you. I've actually seen players. I forget what video I was doing, but I've seen players start or whatever that both had no secondary position and then they were able to start together. I don't know. So maybe 2K added that as a thing. I, I, who knows? Who knows? James Harden averaged 40 to win most valuable player. Joel Embiid, rookie of the year, also on the heat. Both of them. Derek Rose, six men. DPOY, LeBron, Cole Aldrich, most improved. David Jefferson, coach of the year with the Bucks, 76 wins. This guy looks like a just complete, like, he looks like, you know, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I actually don't know. Bucks versus Lakers finals. Clay, Melo, and LaMarcus. Oh, the mid range. Tr well, not trio, but, you know, Clay, Clay can get himself a few fadeaways off here and there. Um, And, you know, a couple pinned down screen middies. Why not? His foot stepped on the line. Oh, no. But they got Melo and LaMarcus on the same team. And they got Amari on the other team with LeBron and D Wade. Why did I not realize D Wade went to the, the, the LeBron's team? I don't know. My brain didn't process it. This is a beautiful finals. But as you'd expect, LeBron, D Wade, and Amari Stoudemire sweep them. Uh, Yeah, just a little bit better. Uh, Yeah. And Amari led them in scoring. They got Zach Randolph off the bench, too. Chauncey Billups. He's around DeAndre Jordan. KG has retired. Now, this dude might actually be the GOAT. I'm not sure. But KG won two MVPs, three rings, three. Five. Okay, he's he's up there, though. He had a little three peat on him. And then he won post Shaq as well. That was the thing that I really remember about him. Pacers, Knicks, Wolves, and Clippers. Hey, we could draft Chris stops again. There you go. Devin Booker won uh, Cat to the Knicks. Tim Wolves get D'Angelo again, like in real life for that one point. Suns, Chris stops. Julie looking forward to the Rockets. Free agency. We're about to see every dynasty broken down again. Oh, snap. James Harden joins Kevin Durant, and I think T Mac's still there. Oh, nope. T Mac left for the Raptors. Chris Paul stays with the Pelicans. I just realized he's on the Pelicans this whole time. Well, you know what I mean. The Hornets, the Pelicans. Like, it didn't like process that. Oh, yeah, that's not supposed to. That's, that's kind of. You know, surprising. Uh, Steph Curry leaves Detroit for the Grizzlies. Magic will get Mike Conley back after two years in Memphis. Funnily enough, Kyle Lowry will leave Orlando for the Spurs. Gilbert Arenas joins the Cavaliers. Blake Griffin will stay in Dallas. Amari Stoudemire stays with the Bucks. Sixers get Elton Brand and Marcus Gasol and screw it, so on and so on. KD wins MVP with the Sixers. I didn't even, I forgot. I think I said Harden went to go join him, but he was already gone. Whatever. Derek, sixth man of the year behind Westbrook. Crazy enough. Use of Nurkic most improved. Alton Collins with the Sixers, best team in the league. Sixers and Pelicans in the finals. Pretty sure, yeah, Chris Paul made his team get here, but Pelicans were the sixth seed, so uh, wild guess this is over. Yeah. <laughs> KD and the Sixers. Darius Miles retired. KD and Kyrie are teamed up in Philly? I didn't even know that was the team. Damn, they got Iggy too. Like a coagulation of KD's multiple team. Kevin Durant, most valuable. Ben Simmons, rookie of the year. Andre Bargnani, six man. LeBron, DPOY. Miritich, most improved brendan owens coach of the year with the nets and that's james harden's team and the Sixers will eliminate the nets and the lakers gonna eliminate it so we'll have two two seeds in the finals spurs with Dirk, kyle lowry jamal harrison barnes and Jonas against mark gasol kd Kyrie, and andre iguodala and they'll sweep kd's team will sweep donovan tatum fultz marking and lonzo ball go top five not gonna lie it's the home stretch and can i be honest i do not care I don't care. Oh, I forgot to even look though. Damn, I wanted to look and at least show the. You know what? Screw it. Yeah, I don't care. KD most valuable. Markel rookie of the year. Dejounte six man. LeBron DPOI. Chris Dunn most improved. Doug Neely coach of the year with the Nets again. Cat versus Boogie. That's a cool finals. Paul George versus Melo as well. James Harden versus Beal. Tony Parker versus Chris Paul. Nets versus Pelicans and one one currently two one two two three two Nets and four two Nets. James Harden finals MVP. We're at number thirty two. That's 
kind of disgusting. Eric Gordon led them in scoring. Of course, EG is with uh, James Harden again. Kobe is retired with the Kings. And him, Yao Ming, and Corey Maggette will make the Hall of Fame. He won no MVPs, won four rings, two finals MVPs. Corey Maggette won two rings as well. Yao won none. Luka Doncic has been drafted by the Suns this time and aid into the Trailblazers. That's that's funny. LeBron, 97 overall. Going to the free agency again. See, this is what I want to do. I just wanted to stop it here. And God, God forsaken. Look at the thing, my God. LeBron actually might. I mean, I know he left San Antonio early on because of his team option, but he might actually stay in Milwaukee his whole career. Uh, AD leaves Sacramento for the Mavericks. James Harden leaves Brooklyn. Or no, he stays in Brooklyn. Sorry, I, that was just my brain. Uh, yeah. Charlotte, Russell Westbrook leaves for the Spurs. Al Gasol will leave Sacramento for the Jazz. Blake Griffin and so on and so forth. We'll figure it out once the teams are good. KD wins MVP. Luka, Rookie of the Year. Jokic, six man. LeBron, DPOY, D'Angelo, most improved. Doug Neely, Coach of the Year. Russell, Lonzo, KD, LeBron, and Boogie. How is Lonzo already here in year two? Joel, Dame versus Blake, AD, and John Wall in the finals. Two seed versus the four seed, and Hornets up 3 2, and they'll take a 4 2 win. Jokic, finals MVP. Wait, Joel, Jokic, and wait, wait. Joel Embiid and Nikola Jokic are on the same team with Devin Booker, Zach Levine, Jeff Green, Damian Lillard, Kwame Brown, Jabari Parker, Zach Randolph, and Ricky Rubio. Joel Embiid and Nikola Jokic on the same team, and they beat AD in the finals. T Mac has retired in 2019. He makes the finals on two MVPs, two championships. Jason Richardson with three rings, Powell with two rings. Slippers get Zion number one, Jod of the Wolves number two, Paul George, Spurs, Boogie, Magic, Curry, Nets, Conley, Spurs, uh, yada, yada, bada, bing. Uh, I just seen Giannis actually. Giannis went to the Grizzlies, or he was already there with Lowry now. Look at that. Jokic, Embiid, and Lillard together. LeBron, MVP. Zion wins rookie of the year. Uh, LeBron, MVP. Mo Bamba, most improved DPOI. LeBron, Mike Conley, six men. Coach of the year, Spurs. Lonzo and Trey make the NBA. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, screw it. You know what? It's 2020, and this is it. This is the end. Forget 2023. Overrated year. Overrated year. Game seven. Russell Westbrook, finals MVP. Damn, it was a one point game. I actually would have watched, but I didn't think. I just clicked something wrong because I'm like, no way it goes to seven, right? Zach Levine, Miles Turner, Kevin Love, Vucevic, and Kawhi went over Westbrook, Paul George, Jalen Brown, da -da 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 -da. 74 and 8 for the Spurs. So I've already done this like every year. I don't feel too obliged to do some sort of insane thing, but here's a look at uh, the history of this league. Obviously, I would say the best team is probably the Sixers. Yeah, the Sixers had rings in almost every single decade, but the Lakers were there at the beginning, and the Celtics, the Trailblazers, Mavericks, you know, and you see the players. It was so random because of the salary cap. So, you know, some teams being a dynasty and then randomly just, you know, sign Kevin Garnett or whatever. Sixers even got KD eventually. They had Chris Webber. They had KG at one point. They had uh, they had David Robinson. They had Michael Jordan. Like they had everybody that team. Maybe it's like in the coding for the teams to want to go to that first team on the list. I don't know. Yada yada bada bing. Look at Jalen Brown with the flat top. Matter of fact, uh, injuries were off, but can I see NBA records? Ray Al Dang, Ray Allen had 55 in a playoff game. Boogie had 54. I don't want to go through everything. I just want to see total points. Oh, for a season, Melo had fifth and James Harden sec third and fourth in points in a season. Steph Curry, six and KD, ninth. In total points, Kobe is number two after Kareem and he retired. So that's, you know, closed on that chapter. And then Gilbert's number three, T-Max number four. To be fair, most of these guys had like super teams. So I guess that's why, you know, I guess that's why maybe they weren't dropping no 40K points. Uh, there go LeBron at fifth. He's probably not going to reach 30. So he could, he could. Yeah, so here's the top scores. Ray Allen, Michael Jordan, Steve Nash over Michael Jordan is hilarious. Kevin Garnett, Carmelo Anthony. Um, Screw it. Just a quick little skim. Field goals made, three pointers, free throws made, rebounds, assists, blocks, steals, minutes, yada, yada, bada, bing. Shout out to Isaiah Thomas on the turnovers. And that's it. Thank you. It's been real. It's been fun. It ain't been real fun. Shout out to Dale Ellis. Subscribe to the channel. You'll have the luck of um, a normal person playing Brian Scalabrini in a 1v1. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Good.